Hello sewing people of the internet. In this video I'm going to share something with you that I didn't actually make. Uh, I had an opportunity to do some sewing for uh, a neighbor of mine in the industrial area that I work in. This area is designated as an arts district and a local artist approached me to sew some binding, uh, some orange binding, onto some paintings that he had done on loose canvas, a canvas that wasn't stretched onto a frame. He had a dozen paintings that he needed bound, and he came over and we did one to test to make sure that the machinery I have was going to work well and that I wanted to do it. And in so doing, we learned that uh, I needed more table area for these paintings because on a painted canvas you really don't want it to to get creased going over the edge of the table or something so he offered to make some table extensions for me it turns out that this particular artist his mom was a seamstress for you know most of her working life and he had been around sewing and sewing machines quite a bit so he had some insights so i want to show you what he made for me and that might be something that you could use in your application uh these things aren't perfect uh, they worked great for what i used them for but i would probably want to modify them some if I was going to use them for some of the heavier stuff that I do. So just a word of caution, you know, this might be a jumping off point for you if you're looking for something uh, like this, but um, maybe some of it isn't exactly the way I would recommend it. Before I get started with that, I'd like to tell you about a new piece of music, a new EP that my friend just completed that you can get on Spotify and iTunes and all the normal places. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for any time, you've probably seen guitars hanging in the background, and if you're really paying attention, you might even know that I typically make most of the cheesy music that I use as music beds for my videos. Anyway, I'm a musician, and my dear friend Nick Gertson, who's a fabulous guitar player that I've known for many years, uh, just released an EP. And I was really honored that he asked me to provide some synthesized string sounds for one of the tracks. As a matter of fact, I was doubly honored because the particular track was his tribute to the great blues guitarist or blues rock guitarist Gary Moore, who was a bit of an inspiration to me when I started learning guitar. Anyway, if you like instrumental rock guitar music, uh, Nick's really great, really big on um, uh, feel. You know, he's he's got technical chops to spare, but lots of feel and, and emotion in his playing. So if you like that kind of thing, I urge you to check it out. Uh, I play on the track A Little Bit of Sadness. I'm, I'm not suggesting this so you can check out the little bit of synth string sounds that I added. It was just to add some texture to the music. His playing is what you should be checking out. But anyway, I'll put a link in the description, uh, some places where you can get it if you want to check that out. Okay, let's check out these table extensions. This is the uh, kind of feed table that goes where you sit at the sewing machine, and this is the one on the back side that you feed to. And they're both made from some old TV trays, so they can fold up when I'm not using them. And he literally just went to the nearby Goodwill and found a couple of TV trays for you know, probably five bucks or something to use as a base for these. He also cleverly put a piece of red tape to indicate where to grab this cross brace to fold it. You just can't really see it when you're holding the table, but you just go to where the tape is and push. And it's pretty easy to set up that way. So as you can see, this gives me an in-feed table, that's the word I was trying to think of a minute ago, and an out-feed table so that as I'm sewing, the work is supported. They aren't perfectly aligned with this table. 
uh, you know, I could probably refine this a little bit to get them aligned. And in particular, this one, since the, the TV tray is over here, and there's this kind of extension here to provide a, a cutout for me to sit in, so I can move this closer to the machine and have the work supported and be able to get in here to work. Because of that, this one is a little bit tippy, more so than the other one. I might try to come up with a way to add a support that can be attached to the bottom of my sewing machine table to provide a lip for this to rest on, and that would give it much better support. But uh, as it is, it works pretty well. It fell over on me one time when I, when I bumped it with my chair, but it didn't need to hold a lot of weight. It just needed to support the length of a piece of canvas. In order to bring the tabletop up to the correct height, uh, he just used some boards that he ripped to the right size and uh, attached those to the TV tray with some L brackets. This is all fairly rudimentary, simple woodworking, nothing too difficult. Anyway, I just wanted to show you those table extensions. I thought it was a really cool idea. To be quite honest with you, if he hadn't made these, I probably would have just piled some boxes on top of each other or some other improvised way of getting the same effect. But this is a much slicker way of doing it, and these are something I will continue to use in the future. Anyway, I hope that gives you some ideas on something you might do if you have the same situation with your sewing. If you have a better idea how to do this, share it with us in the comments below. And also if you have questions or other comments, post them. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, clicking thumbs up is always a good way to help me out. And if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Check out my buddy Nick's music. Uh, I think you'll like it if you like guitar playing. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.